Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pointless Top 10, a show where we make top 10 lists of the pointless things. Why are we flying by this pointless statue in Booty Bay? Because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 are the Pearlfin Village Beds, and if you don't know where that is, that is in the Jade Forest on the shores of Pearl Lake. And this is where the Jinyu are, the fish people, but we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about their beds, which I guess kind of is talking about them. But look at these beds. They're like these weird oyster beds, and they've got some pearls in some of them. So I guess some do have pearls or eggs. I actually don't know what those are. Uh, they even got like a hot tub, which is pretty sick, but... That's kind of weird that they're sleeping near the hot tub, although maybe they're relaxation beds. Maybe they just got so many beds, they're just putting them all over, because it does seem like they got quite a few of these beds. But they are a very unique design. Like, I haven't seen anything like this anywhere else in the game. Maybe it's there, and I'm just I'm just oblivious, and I haven't looked yet, like in Vajjir or something. I don't know. I also thought it was funny that they have pillows, because I was like, dude, those pillows got to be all, like, slimy and gross. <laughs> but maybe not. Maybe the Jinyu are very clean fish people. I don't know. Either way, that's why the Pearlfin Village Beds are number 10. 9. Number 9 are the Blood Elf Beds located in Silver Moon City. And the Blood Elves have some cool canopy beds, and a lot of them are purple, and they got these really decorative pillows on top of them. They're also kind of moving on their own. I think it's either magic or I guess there could be a slight wind in the room, but like nothing else is moving, so I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of magical canopy they've got on there. I was also curious about why canopy beds are even a thing. So according to the internet, which has to be true, being able to enclose your bed in additional linens can help keep you warm during the winter. With some careful positioning, you may be able to utilize your bed to keep you cool in the summer as well. I also remember seeing a lot of canopy beds to block out mosquitoes and insects and stuff like that, but I don't think the Blood Elves have a mosquito problem, but maybe they do. Maybe they got, like, magical mosquitoes or something. That would be actually insane. They, like, suck the mana out of you or something. They also got some beds that are, like, part chair, part space pod. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty cool as well. I don't know. Either way, the Blood Elf beds are pretty cool, and that's why they're number nine. Eight. Number eight are the Goblin Beds, specifically the Goblin Beds located on the Isle of Kazan, which I'm sure they're located in other places, but this is where I found most of the beds, and they have pineapple sheets, which already just some unbelievable decorating. Uh, they got like zebra pillow covers, and then like some animal print other cover. I don't know what that is. Uh, if you go into Gallywix's villa on the Isle of Kazan, you'll actually find two goblin girls just sitting on his bed, so that's a thing, and they're just drinking. <laughs> and they will actually yell at you to be like, hey, what's this loser doing here? So that's another thing happening on the goblin beds. And nearby, there's a little baby raptor guy, and he's got his own little bed. So that bed can also be included in the goblin beds. But I really just love how tacky these beds are, and they do kind of encapsulate a lot of goblin stuff with the weird robotic bed pillar things. I don't even know if they're robotic, just industrial-looking bed pillars. But either way, these are pretty cool beds, and that's why they're number eight. Seven. Number seven are the beds located in the Roasted Ram in Veldraken. And these are kind of weird beds. They feel like a combination of a bunch of different beds in the game because they're like kind of circular and open, but they still have like a back drop or backboard. I don't know bed structure. Listen, <laughs> okay, it's called a headboard. I looked it up. It's called a headboard. There we go. I got it. And they also have the mattress part of the bed. Looks like it has dragon scales on the side of it, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, overall, I don't think these beds are like the coolest beds in the game or anything, right? But I do think they're pretty unique, and they're some of the newest beds in the game, as of the recording of this being Dragonflight. And they seem like they'd be pretty comfortable to sleep in, so... They kind of remind me of the beds you find at a really fancy store at the mall that isn't really that fancy, but pretends to be fancy. You know what I'm talking about? It reminds me of, like, one of those. <laughs> but overall, they seem pretty solid. They're well-built. They got cool design, and they're probably pretty soft to sleep in. So that's why the Valdraken beds are number seven. Six. Number six are the beds located in the Goldshire Inn. And I think you know why I've put the Goldshire Inn beds on this list. Uh, they are probably the most used beds in World of Warcraft. <laughs> For a variety of reasons, many being roleplay specific, some different types of roleplay than others, but these are definitely beds that get use, right? I mean, people are always around them, they're always doing things on them or near them, and, you know, you could say whatever happens in Goldshire stays in Goldshire. Goldshire really is just the Vegas of World of Warcraft. But in terms of the actual beds, they're pretty cool beds, like, they're pretty basic, but they got pillows, they got sheets, they got some cool engravings in the wood, they got little 
They're not canopy beds, but they got little like tapestry things going around them. Although some of the beds are just sheets and a pillow and some of the most basic beds you're gonna find in the game. But again, that's all some people in Goldshire need. So that's why the Goldshire beds are number six, five. Number five are some of the cool beds in Balloran. And what I like about these beds is it's a it's a good blend of what we've already seen. You've got like the, the canopy beds, but it looks more like a royal canopy type of bed. You've got really intricate pillow design. You've got uh, almost like a basic bed, but it's almost like a fancy basic bed. It's got that cool headboard. Okay, I remember that now. It's got the little uh, bed posts with the lights, almost like the Dalaran Towers. I actually love that a lot, how it looks like little Dalaran Towers as bed posts for all the different beds. I think that might be my favorite design style out of the beds uh, in Dalaran. Maybe, you know what? Maybe even out of all the beds. I'd say it's probably one of my favorite things I've seen. I think it's a really cool design idea for the beds. Although the oyster beds are pretty cool. But what's cool about this is it's actually taking inspiration from the city that the bed is in, right? Like it's actually looking at the Dalaran Towers and being like, yo, what if we made bed posts out of those towers, right? Which really makes it sound like everybody that built this city was really high when they did so, which they may have been. They may have been super high on like magical mana drugs or something. I don't know. Either way, that's why the Dalaran beds are number five. Four. Number four are the Suramar beds. And speaking of magical mana drugs, I feel like a lot of people here are on magical mana drugs, but uh, it just, these beds give me kind of 70s inspiration. It kind of reminds me of the Blood Elf beds, right? Which, you know, they're kind of tied together, but... Uh, you know, there's no canopies here, but they do have those big circular beds, which are very 70s. They got one place where there's just a bunch of pillows all over the ground. So technically you could use those as a bed. They even have some normal looking beds. They have like a stone base. And then you got the, the mattress on top of that. And then a fun little cushion with a, a cool arch looking headboard. Although it looks like it has little tentacle arms or something. Maybe Nazoth, who even knows? Maybe he's watching them sleep, which would be pretty creepy if he's just watching you sleep. Although Santa Claus watches you sleep. That's kind of messed up when you think about it. He doesn't need to watch you sleep, does he? Like, what's he getting from that? Is he just trying to... Is he, he's just trying to figure out if it's been good or bad. Does he have to watch you sleep and the, to know that? Or is he just trying to get into your house when you're... It's it's kind of freaky when you think about it. Anyway, that's why the <laughs> Suramar beds are number four. Three. Number three are the beds located in Boralus. And I like these beds for a few reasons. One is just their aesthetic. You have the captain's wheel headboard, which I think is really cool. Although some people might be like, oh, it's a little too much theming, but I think it's pretty fun. Uh, and then there's also the the edge of the bed where it has the, maybe that's the baseboard is the like other part of the bed, the baseboard. But either way, it's got like the little ship nodules with the, the rope going across. I think that's pretty cool. They're just, they're like ship beds, right? Which is pretty, I think it's pretty sick. And the other reason isn't even like a good thing, which I guess should be a negative, but the pillows look like they're oddly shaped. Like it doesn't look like your head would fit very well in there. You know what I mean? Or it wouldn't support your neck. They're kind of like jammed into the back of the bed. And they've done that for every bed. I guess you could just move the pillow, but it just bothers me for some reason. I was also upset because I wanted to put the Zandalar beds on this list. If you look up Zandalar bed, you'll see it looks really cool. And then I looked for it in game and I couldn't find it. And I think the artist actually created it and had like concept art, but then it never got put into the game. Unless I just completely missed it, in which case the Zandalar beds would be on this list. But if not, go look it up. They're pretty sick. They would have made the list, but oh well. Either way, that's why the Boralus beds are number three. Two. Number two is the Leather Pet Bed Toy, which is a toy that allows you to place a bed for most companion pets and has a 20 second cooldown. And this bed is phenomenal. It's just a standard bed, but whatever critter you have out or pet or whatever you want to call it, uh, will hop onto the bed and they all stand on it in a variety of ways. Some just like go on and they sleep like a cat. Some just stand on it like the squirrel, the armadillo and the turtle kind of curl up into their shell and they just sit on the bed, which I think is pretty funny. And then they're like, boing, and they pop out of it after they're done sleeping, even though they only sleep for like 20 seconds, I guess. <laughs> Both the bear and the sloth kind of struggle to even sleep on the bed. They're like partially on it, but a lot of them is just hanging off the bed. And watch this guy, he's not even sleeping and he's just like, Dwop! It just like power jumps off. He's like a gymnast. <laughs> but the main point here is this bed is just really unique because of the way you can use it and have a bunch of different pets and critters hop onto the bed and interact with it in different ways. So that's why the leather pet bed is number two. One. And number one is Medivh's bed in Karazhan. And Medivh's bed is actually insane. It is like on a triple platform thing with a little ramp going up to the top. And then you have the actual bed up at the top and it's got like the, it's got everything we've mentioned earlier. It's got the canopy, 
Uh, although it's not fully enclosed in the canopy, but it's got like the tapestry canopy. It's got pillows up there. Uh, this bed is insane. I don't know why Medivh needs a bed this intricate and this crazy, but he just went all out. This dude was like a pharaoh from back in Egypt. He like wanted a pyramid bed and he just, <laughs> he made it. I guess he could use magic to make it or something. I don't know, but this bed is easily one of the most insane beds I've seen in World of Warcraft. And that is why Medivh's bed is number one. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Pointless Top 10. If you want more Pointless Top 10s, go check out Pointless Top 10 Taverns. That's another cozy type of bed-related one. Or you can go check out the one from last week, which is Pointless Top 10 Traveling Merchant NPCs. Also, consider supporting the channel by becoming a channel member or a patron over at patreon.com slash Okay? Okay. See ya.